Whoa! Check it out! That sword is ginormous! This is an altar to the Sacred Blade. It was constructed in the era of Asgard. Lila, do you know about this? Lila? No respondas, eh? What's that? This is where I formed the pact with the previous shepherd. Really? But then, why couldn't you tell us before? You and Miklio looked like you were both having so much fun. I didn't want to go and sour your explorer's spirit by spoiling the end. And on top of that, I kept silent for your sake. For my sake? I want you to understand, you must not feel obligated to bear the world's burden on your shoulders alone. Huh? So, how does it feel having reached these ruins? You don't feel as excited as you imagined you might be, right? By any chance, do you know why this is? Um, I... well... You do not wish for your friends to share the burden of your duty, is that correct? I guess I'm really that transparent, aren't I? This is a problem that always arises between the Shepherd and their Seraphim friends, no matter the era. Saray, you must understand how Miklio feels, do you not? Yeah. Very well. There is nothing left for me to tell you. Thank you, Lila. And now, allow me to show you the real reason I brought you all the way here. I want to bestow this onto you. A jewel? They are called iris gems in the world of humans. But they are originally known as the Earthen Historia. Iris gems. Earthen Historia. So, can you see anything? Huh? Like what? The object you are holding allows those with resonance, that is, the ability to sense Seraphim, to see the memories that are contained within. They should serve you well as guideposts in your search for the Lord of Calamity. Hmm? But I can't see anything. You can't? Hmm. That certainly is odd. Saray? Let's head back. There's nothing more we can find out. But... Hey, we can come back anytime we need to. Indeed. And with Miklio, of course. So then, is this sealed as well? From the inside? This is an altar created in order to bring forth shepherds. It does not open unless one can wield the flames of purification. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean anyone who failed to become a shepherd could never get out of here? Indeed. It is a relic of a much crueler era. I see. You have already been bound to me and are quickly becoming accustomed to my power. I expect you should be able to wield the flames of purification by now. So, all I have to do then is light this torch? Yes, but be wary. 
Those who could not become shepherds may have perished here, but their emotions linger on. This malevolence hangs here like a miasma. Meaning that hellions are lurking about, right? Exactly. Proceed with caution. Okay. But it's way bigger than the ones we've seen. Such signs are commonly seen around this area. They aren't very strong, but watch out for their spewing attacks. Ready? You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Ah, pues está manual. Pues bueno, echa de menos poder matar los sal. I can't believe it. There are so many of them. I have no idea. Do you feel any different? A new power manifesting, or a new sort of strength welling up inside you? Do you feel like that at all? Huh? I don't feel any different. So it really hasn't happened yet. There's too many. Is there any end to this? Saray, we have to break on through. Okay. Um. Be gone! Strike! How's this? Ready? There's no end to them! Give your all to defense! We can still pull through! Oh, I'm 
vamos allá, ¿no? Vamos a poner uno. Vale, eh, algo. No. You can use it now. What are you talking about? It is time you knew the true power of the shepherd. What? I bear my true name. This is... Recite that name. Harness the power that flows from it and let it become your armor. That is the true power of the Shepherd. All right, I'll give it a try. Death must be Elma! Wow! I can feel such incredible power! All right, time to finish this! Mira, no lo Shepherd, it means you have mastered its power. Still, that was way too close for comfort. Gaining that new power right at the last second there. I'll say, I must admit even I was worried. But in the end, you did an absolutely marvelous job. Ah, shucks. Come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, since the Hellions are safely defeated, what do you say you go ahead and remove the amortization? How do I do that? Huh? I can't get it off. What? Is that what's supposed to happen? That's what I want to know. So, you can't read the Earth in Historia. You were able to unleash the power of amortization with amazing speed, and yet now you can't turn it off. Saray, you're just a total mess. The shepherd's a mess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Lila. Oh, there it goes. I suppose once the Armatus has been invoked, you'll just have to wait until it dissolves. I'm sure in due time you'll be able to use it at will. If you say so. Vale. Va. Oh. Move forward! Move forward! Move 
Looks like we win. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Are calling me. Pues por aquí primero. Vale. Eso será para más adelante entonces. Hay acciones de combate que solo se pueden hacer un sobre de disfrutar. Mm. Ahora me pica esa curiosidad.
Aumenta la calidad de los objetos soltados. A mí. Me gusta. Vamos a quedarnos con este. No. Eh... Vale. He's at the inn. Oh, Miklio? But he said he would wait for us back at the inn when he left. So, the ruins below spread out all over the place, right? If that's the case, I'll bet Miklio went off to search for another entrance. Inside, yeah. One that's not this one. Huh? You mean Miklio went into the ruins alone? How dangerous, how downright reckless of him. The Hellions here are spreading like wildfire. You just saw firsthand what a force they are to be reckoned with. How can you be so calm when your friend is in peril like this? He'll be fine. I know he's not the type to let his guard down when he's faced with real danger. And I'm sure he knows full well that he has no ability to purify the Hellions all by himself. <sighs> don't worry. <sighs> you really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Well, it's a love-hate sort of thing. I see. So Miklio has a sort of rivalry going on with you, and thus he went alone to search for the ruins, rather than return to the inn. But you're sure he wouldn't do anything dangerous by himself. So then, what are your plans now, Saray? Man, you sure have a mean streak, you know that? Oh, do I? But anyways, first I have to return this to Alicia. Oh, sure, the dude. knife you used to open the door. We found this at the ruins, where I first met her. It was probably handed down by the royal family. I'm sure it's very important. Before I begin my duty as a shepherd, I feel like I should return it. Indeed. Lila, you had something else to tell me, right? About what it is to be the shepherd. I'd like to hear the rest of what you had to say. Uh, it's true, I do. But first, to that same end, there are things I would like to ask Alicia as well. Perfect. Let's head over to her manor then. Y pasamos we a might find Miklio as well. Oh, yeah. He'll probably give up and wander back any time now. <laughs> now that would be perfect. Boy, I knew you had a mean streak. Oh, hey! So you made it out okay? You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much. Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. When this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa, now. Hang on a second. Aren't you the shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all the rumors to a T! Well, <laughs> uh... For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? <laughs> I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. Gotta thank you proper for saving me. Wanna get some grub later? <laughs> to think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself! My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, uh, I don't know if... Things must be tough, but hang in there. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed the suit. Great. See you soon, Shepard. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. 
You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. I see. Esa forma de ordenar las propiedades, de, vamos a pasar de nuestro amigo y vayamos primero a devolver un cuchillo que igual nos hace falta para ayudar a nuestro amigo, es bastante peculiar. Por no decir que Alicia puede estar allí o no, digo yo que tendrá vida. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. Bueno, parece que ponen cara de menos asco que la última vez. Uh. Wow, I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk while we chat. You were investigating the ruins, correct? Well, yes, that's true. This is for you. My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa. but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait! Did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite the surprise. Hello? Uh, I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? Sure. Hello, Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before without dulling your other senses. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way, but good riddance. <clears throat> all right, very well then. Shall we begin? Oh, right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. 
The Seraphim and humans work together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? Sí. As for the Tomo Sanctuary, esta, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way! However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. Dejo una nota, eh? She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. Hmm. No veo por qué. Pero vale. Dicho lo cual, si mi Cleo buscaba una entrada secundaria para entrar, podría ser que fuese lo de aquí. Venga, pues nada, la entrada principal y guardamos aquí. 